sure to kill me. Run. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Well, thank you so much for this interview. I have to say, I am really excited about this release. So first of all, I want to know how is it to be uh, back with this story and also something really expected by the audience? I think expectation is premeditated resentment. So we try not to have expectations, okay. right? <laughs> yeah. um, but I don't think that our audience is gonna be disappointed. I think that we've done a, a really good job of sort of shrinking the franchise back to where it began, stories of relationship and characters that you care about, as well as huge action, bigger than ever. So there will be big surprises. But um, most importantly, none of it would matter to anyone if there weren't relationships that we had forged that were very, um, interesting to watch and authentic. Perfect. What I really love about uh, sci-fi movies, sci-fi action movies, is that uh, female characters are always really strong, like they, they go for it uh, totally. So what do you love the most about your characters in this movie? I love, uh, my character is just I, a polar opposite to me both in her athleticism and ability to um, move efficiently and um, in her personality. And I think just being able, or being asked by Tim in the movie to, to I don't know, um, take up that different space was such a, a challenge and so thrilling for me. She really did, Linda Hamilton doing Sarah Connor the second time around, the transformation. I wish. Oh no, I, I was a like. poster of Linda <laughs> on my wall. I wish that that's what happened. I don't know. I was like, go ahead, you be Linda, you be Sarah Connor, you be Linda Hamilton doing. Yeah. So I was very happy that she carried that on. Um, I love doing action. I love moving my body while I'm acting and having to think on my feet. And, you know, it's, it, it, you know, a lot of people like, you know, action adventures never get Academy Awards. A performance, you know, is they're just overlooked because they're big blockbusters and, you know, they don't consider this acting, but this is acting sort of to the highest level because you are doing so much with weapons and your body and so much going on around and staying in character and hitting the moments and, um, I love it. I just love my job. And well, since the first Terminator movie until this one, how would you say sci-fi action movies have evolved? Well, that's a tough one. <laughs> I can answer because yeah. I did the first one. <laughs> um, when we did the first film, there were virtually no real special effects. I mean, there was stuff added in the editing room later, but we had nothing. We had, we had a skeleton that was moved by Stan Winston's people that barely articulated, that was 250 pounds. The arm that comes through uh, to, to get me at the end was actually 200 and some pounds and they couldn't, you know, there was no real special effect. We had to just sort of make it up and sort of make it work. And things have come so far. By the second time, you know, we'd have to do scenes over and over again and then come back weeks later and do it so that the visual effects guys could do it, so that the rubber effect would work. You know, everything was shot so many different times because you're trying to do a composite of all these things to make the visual effects. And this time, I had no idea what was going on. The previs is what they create for actors and te um, t to have a template of how the action is going to unfold. So it's like an animated version of what they want the actors to do. And we had to refer to it all the time because it was so complex and there's so many things that aren't reaching you or that, you know, it's just impossible to understand. So we'd be constantly checking the previs to understand because it was that complex. Very, very different.
Perfect. And would you say that was like the hardest thing uh, for in these times to make action movies, like just them, Im just imagining what you have in front of you or something like that? Or is there anything uh, that it represents a harder challenge for you as actresses? I would say this is pretty much at the top of the list of hard for me so far, mm -hmm. because you truly, it's just hard to get a real lock on where you are, you know, and I'm very detailed and I, and I pretty much know from moment to moment, you know, that's one of my skills is like, I know where I've been and I know where I'm going. But on this film, it's just like, where have I been? Yeah. Where am I yeah. going? I mean, it was very hard to lock in on because it was so just all over the place, expansive. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank oh, you. you're welcome.